Hey guys, it's Billy. I'm out here in the village in New York City, right near Washington Square Park, named after the beautiful actress Kerry Washington. What's your name, sir? Uh, Eugene. I'm from Queens. Eugene from Queens. All right, that's great. I'm from Queens, too. Cool. And what are you doing in Manhattan today? Uh, I'm a professional dancer. I'm actually... Excuse me? Professional dancer. Wow, what kind of dancing do you do? A break dance. Can you do a little for us? Sure. Just a little bit? Yeah, take off your bag, stay a while. All right, yeah. Oh, oh, good. He's put his cash right on the floor. Wait, hold on. Did we get a shot of this? All right, do a little break dancing for us, Eugene. Yeah, wherever you want. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, that's great. All right. Round of applause for Eugene. That's great, Eugene. Unfortunately, that won't help you win our new favorite game, Train Song or Mommy Blog. Eugene, here's how it's gonna work. I'm gonna give you a name. You have to tell me if it's the name of a popular song by the band Train or a famous Mommy Blog. If you think it's by Train, you say Train. If you think it's a Mommy Blog, say Mommy Blog. You understand, Eugene? Yeah. Okay, here we go. If you get seven right in 30 seconds, we're in a big prize. Ready, Eugene? Okay. Okay, great, here we go. Train Song or Mommy Blog, 30 seconds on the clock, please. And away. We go. Hey, soul sister. Train. Yes, correct. Coffee and cashmere. Uh, mommy. Mommy. Mommy blog. Yes, correct. Peanut butter spoonfuls. Mommy blog. Yes, correct. Drops of Jupiter. Uh, train. Y yes, yes, correct. Souls never wrinkle. Uh, train. No, mommy blog. Uh, uh, feels good at first. Uh, mommy blog. No, train. Poop, pee, puke. Mommy blog. Yes, correct. Uh, obviously marvelous. Uh, mom. No, train. Uh, no, mommy blog. Uh, meet Virginia. Train. Uh, yes, correct. J time. Did he get it? No, you lost, Eugene. All that dancing for nothing. <laughs> God. It's all, good. it's all good. It's all good. You know what's even better? You know what happens when you lose train song or mommy blog? You become Mr. Penguin. Oh, I'm sorry, Eugene. Oh, yes. I love it. Yes. Well, can you break dance for us with the penguin hat a little? I can't. This is kind of heavy. Sorry. Excuse me. Yes, thank you. Here we go. There he goes. Up, up. There he goes. Mr. Penguin. All right. Thanks, Eugene. Thanks for playing. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Uh, what's, what's her name? I'm sorry. Oh, my God. F*** you. Hey guys, it's Billy Eichner, and this is Funnier Die's Billy on the Street, a music and pop culture game show. Now, before we get to our three round game, let's take a look and see what happened when I hit the streets to play a game I like to call For a Dollar. Here we go. Sir, for a dollar, who's your favorite singer? What do you mean, sir? Oh, I'm sorry, miss. Very sorry. Miss, for a dollar, who farts more? Whoopi Goldberg or Blake Shelton? I don't know. Take a guess. Guess. Whoopi Goldberg or Blake Shelton? Who farts more? Don't like burgers. No, Whoopi Goldberg. Oh, God. Miss, for a dollar in front of all this fruit, who do you prefer? Charlize Theron or Anne Hathaway? Charlize Theron. Correct, you win! <laughs> yes! yes. <laughs> Take these blueberries, too. Oh, yeah. those are mine. No, I'll pay for them. <laughs> yeah. Okay, enjoy. That's awesome. Thank okay. You hey, this is your fruit? Sure. Oh, yeah, you see that? Yeah. That's great. That's really good. Enjoy. How much is it? Oh, $2.50. You owe him $1.50. Let's go. Miss, 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 for a dollar, did we ever figure out what the f our skunk was about? For a dollar, I'd, um, I can't think oh, right now. God damn it, these balloons in my face. Sir, for a dollar, name a celebrity that you hate. I love them. I'd say f Richard Gere. Okay, great. Here you go. Thank you very much. Sir, for a dollar, who's more orange? Michael Kors or the annoying orange? The annoying orange, honey. Yes, there you go. Take it. Okay. Bye. Miss, do you miss Zach Braff on Scrubs? I'm sorry, I can't even hear Zach Braff. Please get away. Oh, God. You didn't like Scrubs? Sir, for a dollar, who's the worst person, do you think? The worst person? Yes. I don't know. In your opinion? The worst person, uh... Sandusky. Jerry Sandusky. It's a good guess. Okay. Yeah, but the answer is Helen Hunt. You know, Helen Hunt's making a comeback. I don't know that. I can't stand her. I can't either. You, you agree? Yeah, I agree. I f***ing hate Helen Hunt. Hate is a strong word? No, I hate her. Wow. I hate Helen Hunt. Do to you? I just, I don't want to see her. She had a moment in the 90s. I don't need to see her again. Okay. I hate Helen Hunt!
Okay, guys, now it's time to play a game I like to call Quizzed in the Face. Remember, the final round is subjective, so for a contestant to win, we have to share the same opinions about pop culture. Let's play. <laughs> Sir, do you want to play Quizzed in the Face? You can win money right now. What's your name? Indrajit Singh. What? Huh? Indrajit Singh, Mr. Singh. Mr. Yeah. Singh, I'm, I'm Mr. Billy. How are you? I'm good, how are you? What are you up to? Uh, this is a game show called Billy on the Street. Okay, so... Okay, here we go. If you get two questions wrong, you're out. If you need help answering a question, we can beg a stranger, we can ask an Asian, or I can scream the answer from down the block. You understand, Mr. Singh? I understand, yeah, what's the question? Okay, here it is. Here's the question. Round one, question one. On her hit single, who did Carrie Underwood pray would take the wheel? A, Diana DeGarmo, B, Jesus, C, Barack Obama, D, Lisa Rinna. D. D, Lisa Rinna? Right. Why do you say that? Uh, just a guess. Just a guess. Uh, Diana DeGarmo, remember her from American Idol? Yes. Diana DeGarmo? If that's the right answer. What? Is that the right answer? I didn't tell you the right answer yet. I want your final answer. Well, that's my final answer. D, Lisa Rinna. Right. The answer is, oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Singh, it's B, Jesus. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, do you love Jesus? I love Jesus, but I thought he didn't sing. Okay, well, he did sing. He had a very nice voice. I am sure he did. Okay, here we go. You're still in the game. Okay. Okay, good. Question two. Which brilliant celebrity does commercials for going to an online college? A, Lindsay Lohan, B, Tara Reid, C, Shannon Doherty, D, Frida Kahlo. It's not Frida Kahlo. Okay. So, uh, it's not Lindsay Lohan. Okay, so, what was that? I said it's not Lindsay Lohan. Why not? Because she never went near a college. I think she's spending her time near a courthouse uh, rather than a college. Oh, shit. Mr. Singh means business. I so you've narrowed it down to Tara Reid or Shannon Doherty. Okay, so it's Tara Reid. How's that? Tara Reid, are you positive? I think so, yes. If you get it wrong, you're out of the game. Well, we, sooner or later, we are all out of the games. Wow, I can scream the answer from down the block if you want to. That's fine. What do you want me to do? Well, uh... We can beg a stranger or you can stick with Tara Reid. Are we going to ask a stranger? We can do that. I can help you find one. Okay. Okay, let's go, Mr. Singh. Take my hand. Where are we going? Okay, we got to find a stranger. I wanted to go this way. Well, unfortunately, we're going this way. Uh, miss, miss, he needs help answering a question for money. What? Well, yeah, I'll help you find one. Yeah, she's, she's a little shy. So. Yeah, she was very shy. Very shy, okay. Yeah, we'll find someone, though. Okay. Oh, we'll find someone. Yeah. We'll find someone. Oh, 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 miss. Miss, Mr. Singh needs help answering a question. Miss, come here, miss. What? I don't know what's well, wrong. We're going to find someone, Mr. Singh. Please calm down. Right, right. Okay. Well, sir, sir, Mr. Singh needs... Sir, miss, miss, Mr. Singh needs help answering a question. She doesn't want to help you. Yeah. Maybe he... Maybe you'll help, sir. Sir, he needs help answering a question for money. What's your name? Josh. Josh, this is Mr. Singh. Mr. Singh, nice oh, to meet you. Good. Okay, the here's the question. Which brilliant celebrity does commercials for going to an online college? A, Lindsay Lohan, B, Tara Reid, C, Shannon Doherty, D, Frida Kahlo. D. <laughs> what? I have no idea. It's Frida Kahlo? Fr no, it's not Frida Kahlo. Not Lindsay Lohan. Frida Kahlo is dead. Yeah. And, uh, well, yeah. So, C. C, he says Shannon Doherty. Do you accept that as your answer? I, he, since he doesn't know, maybe. Just accept it. Accept it, yeah. He wants you to accept it, wow. Okay. Mr. Singh, the answer is... See, Shannon Doherty! Yes, you're still in the game, thank you, bye! Okay. Bye, still in the game, Mr. Okay. Singh. Okay, so now what? Okay, next question, here we go. Which of these Hollywood actresses is diabetic, asthmatic, has three adopted kids, and once got her ex-husband attacked by a Komodo dragon on Father's Day? A, Deborah Messing, B, Abigail Breslin, C, Sharon Stone, D, Jim Parsons. I'd say Deborah Messing. Deborah Messing from Smash. Deborah Messing. Yes, you think Deborah Messing got her husband attacked by a Komodo dragon? Well, I know the other part. Uh, I know, don't know about the the dragon. So. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, Deborah Messing. Deborah Messing. He says, the answer is. 
See Sharon Stone, you're out of the game, Mr. Singh. I didn't know she had that many kids. And she, she did three adopted kids. I see. I see. Well, she, her husband, her ex-husband, got attacked by a little dragon. Because she was in Italy the other day. She was in Italy the other day, but it has nothing to do with what we're talking about. I see. Okay. So. Thank you for playing, though, Mr. Singh. Good luck. Have a good day. Sure. Good luck to you. you Bye, Mr. Singh. Yeah. So what is this about? This is Billy on the Street. It's a game show. Okay. What what channel? Oh, Fuse. Okay. You like Fuse? Uh, I don't know. I'll go and look for it. Yeah, go and look at it. They play like five hour long blocks of Rihanna videos. You'll love it. Oh, good. Good. Okay, bye, Mr. Singh. Bye, thank you. Yeah, yeah, you take care. Okay, you yeah. take care. Yeah. Bye -bye. Okay, goodbye. Oh, he's going to go across yeah. the street. Okay, let's see, Mr. Singh. Goodbye. goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Singh. Hey, guys, it's Billy. I'm here in the village in New York City, ready to play my new favorite game, Chris Brown or Serial Killer. What is your name, sir? Tevia. Tevia? Yes. That's really your name? It is really my name. You know the lead character in Fiddler on the Roof is named Tevia. I've heard it many a time. Yes, I'm sure. Do you love Fiddler on the Roof? I've only seen it once. It's okay. Excuse me? No, you have to watch it and rewatch it to see the nuances. What do you do in New York? Uh, I go to the new school. Oh, the new school? Yeah, what do you study there? Uh, music. Music? What kind of music? You play an instrument? Uh, no. Don't talk to me unless you play an instrument. What's the answer? I play my computer. What does that mean? A lot of electronic music. Oh, that's bullshit. And anyone can do that. You don't have to go to school for that. I mean, I play other. I play a little bit of guitar. I play. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Me too. I play a tuba. Yeah. Don't we all play electronic music? You don't need to go to school. You sit home. You take some ecstasy, and it it, it writes itself. I guess so. Yeah. Isn't that right, Tevia? Yeah, I, I don't make. A, I make sample-based music. Sample-based music. So you steal other people's music that they wrote it and you put a little beat, boop, boop, beep, look, I rewrote it. You, you could say that, yeah. Okay, great. Here's how we play Chris Brown or Serial Killer. I'm going to give you a quote, Tevya, and you have to tell me whether that quote was spoken by Chris Brown or a convicted serial killer. Do you understand? Got it. If it's Chris Brown, you say? Chris Brown? Correct. If it's a convicted serial killer, you say serial killer. Yes, Chris Brown or serial killer. If you get five right in 30 seconds, you win a big prize. Understand? Got it. Okay, here we go. And your shirt says, get out of Williamsburg, meaning Williamsburg, Brooklyn? Yes. Yes, and why, what it's, what's the meaning behind that? Uh, well, if you see here, there's a little hussy. Yeah, there's a Hasidic Jew. Boy, you fiddler on the roof. You're like the great Rebbe Menachem Schneerson over here. I guess so. Okay, great. All right, well, here we go. Chris Brown or serial killer? Do you get five right in 30 seconds, you win a big prize. Here we go, fiddler on the roof. Chris Brown would make a wonderful Tevye and Fiddler. Did you ever think about that? Never thought about it. Okay, well, great. You're, you're, you're too busy making someone else's music they already made. Oh, God. Here we go. 30 seconds on the clock, please. Ready, Tevye? Ready. And away. We. Go. Reality is altered by wanting to be accepted. Serial killer? No, Chris Brown. I made my fantasy life more powerful than my real one. Serial killer? Yes, correct. That night my, my tattoos come to life. Serial killer? No, Chris Brown. There's never a right time to say goodbye. Chris Brown? Yes, correct. Satan gets into people and makes them do things they don't want to do. Serial killer? Yes, correct. Herbert Mullen. Herbert Mullen. Ten seconds. Society. Eat or be eaten. Chris Brown? Yes, correct. I would cook it and look at the pictures and masturbate. Serial killer? Yes, correct. Winner! Yes, you win, Tavia. You win. You win. Chris Brown or serial killer. Let's see your prize. Oh, it's a caricature of Lena Dunham from Girls. Nice. Super. That's perfect for you. I ever wanted. Yeah, look at that. That's great. You do wonderful. Yeah, nice caricature of Lena Dunham from HBO's Girls. Thanks for playing Chris Brown or serial killer, Tavia. Having me. Okay, have a good day. Bye. Bye. Walk away. Okay, bye. Bye. That was Chris Brown or serial killer. We'll be right back. Lena Dunham, if you're watching, it's time to start following me on Twitter. You've tweeted me before, you told me your sister's a big fan, and you're still not following me, even after we exchanged numerous tweets! <laughs> miss, Miss, want to play the new Funny or Die game show? You can win real money right now. It's real fast. What's your name? Anne. Anne, where are you from? New York. Oh, wow. What do you do here? I'm an editor. Oh, my God. What do you edit? <gasps> Books. Books! You have some in here? Yes, yes. What book? Yes. Oh. We're on the radio. Oh, my God. What are you talking about? Yes. Is your name Barry? No, my name's Billy, you ass. Oh. Let's go. Hey, guys, it's Billy. I'm here in Washington Square Park, ready to play one of my favorite games, amateur speed sketching. We have a great contestant here. What's your name, sir? Barry. Barry. All right. And what are you doing in New York, Barry? I'm a law student. Oh, wow. Did you ever watch Boston Legal? Hell no. What do you mean, hell no? That was a great show. James Spader was on it. He won, like, two Emmys. 
Yeah, but like Law & Order, you got like the Doom Doom going on, you know? Like everything for... All right, fine. Quit while you're ahead. All right, here's how it's going to work. I'm going to give you the name of a celebrity and put 60 seconds on the clock. You will then have a minute to draw that celebrity to the best of your ability. We are then going to hit the streets, and if anyone can guess the identity of that celebrity, you win $50 and they win $25. Do you understand, Barry? I got you. I didn't know they still named young people Barry. My parents are just awesome. What okay. can I say? That's cool. That's cool. And where are you from? Cleveland. Okay, did you say that already? I did. I told you this. You just have some memory issues, I think. Oh. Okay, yeah, yeah, great. Okay, great. Okay, fine. Okay, here we go. Put 60 seconds on the clock, please. Are you ready, Barry? Good to go. All right, here we go. 60 seconds on the clock. And away we go. Dr. Phil, draw! Draw, Dr. Phil. Go, Barry. We're all pulling for you. No. What the hell is that? It's a face, damn it. Okay. It's a face. It's like the kid from Mask. <laughs> Come on, Barry. Hey, listen, you're putting me under pressure here. Uh, I understand. Do your best. Do your best. So it looks like Mickey Mouse was in a fire already. It doesn't matter. He's doing his best. Okay. He's got the suit. I'd concentrate on the face a little, as right now he has absolutely no features. How much time? How much? Oh. 30 seconds, come on. Face, think about Dr. Phil's face. Okay, good. Excellent, definitely looks like Ziggy, if not Dr. Phil. No, no words. What? No words, it's a drawing. That drawing's- Picasso didn't need words, Barry. Picasso didn't have an ear. Well, it's not my fault. 10 seconds. Oh, good, now he looks like Hitler. Oprah gave Hitler a talk show, how wonderful. Look like Hitler, what the f Come on, draw, Barry, just draw. Uh, Shut up and draw. No words. Now it says ho. Now it says ho. No. Can you leave it? Time. Put them down. Put. Give me the markers, Barry, please. So difficult. All right, Barry, there it is. Let's look at Dr. Phil. Hope he doesn't have to smell anything, if you know what I mean. No nose. No nose. Okay, Barry, let's go. Hit in the street. See if anyone can guess who this is. Miss, 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 miss. For $25, can you guess the identity of this celebrity that he just drew? Can I get a clue? What? No, no clues. Look at it. Um, Who is it? That guy from Fox News with the mustache, Geraldo. No, it's not Geraldo. No, it's Dr. Phil. Let's go, Barry. Stupidest hat I've ever seen on a person. Oh, oh. Sir, 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 for $25, can you guess the identity of this celebrity? Can you guess? Take a look. Take a look. You guys can work together. Right. Uh, Mr. Noodle from the Elmo's World. <laughs> it's not Mr. Noodle. It's Dr. Phil. Go this way. Go this way. Barry, follow me, a moron. What? Ask the middle oh, aged people. Oh, here. Oh, miss. Miss, miss. For $25, can you guess the identity of this celebrity? Do you speak English? Yes, I speak English. Okay, go. Look at this, study it. See if you can guess who this is. This is Hitler, no. Huh? <laughs> What'd you say? Hitler? No, it's not Hitler. You see, I said that. No, it's not Hitler. Close. It's Dr. Phil. Oh, it looks like Hitler. You put a Hitler muscle in there. Why don't you shut up? Go back to Cleveland, you fk face. You fk face. Go, you go back to Cleveland! Oh, God. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, there's a puddle. Whoa! Oh, miss, miss, for $25, can you get... Okay, goodbye. No, okay. Oh, Barry, shut up. I hate my life. Oh, oh, oh keep going. Come on. Barry, let's go. Sir, sir, for $25, can you guess the identity of this celebrity? Take a look. Study it. He drew it. Can you guess who this is? Mike Ditka. What? Mr. Noodle from- What do you say? Mike Ditka. It's not Mike Ditka and it's not Mr. Noodle. It's Dr. Phil. You lose, Barry. Sorry. All right. Goodbye. You lose, Barry. What was that? It does look like Mr. Noodle. Yes, you see, we have confirmation. It does look like Mr. Noodle. It's not Hitler. Well, it's true. Mr. Noodle is not Hitler. Well, we've established that. Or maybe he is. Who knows? Here, keep your terrible drawing of Noodle Hitler. And thanks for playing, Barry. I'm sorry you lost. Do I, so can I have another turn to draw something? No, goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, guys, it's Billy. Fasten your Janet Jackson nipple jewelry. I've got cash in hand, and I'm ready to give it away for this week's lightning round. Let's go. Sir, sir, how many times have you seen Frank and Weenie in total? Zero. Oh, God. Miss for a dollar. Name three famous dead people. Go. Uh, go. You can do it. Justin Timberlake. He's alive! Miss, Daniel Day-Lewis is a genius. What? Daniel Day-Lewis is a genius. 
Yes. Yes, thank you. Miss, what's the first word that comes to mind when I say Denzel Washington? Actor? Yes, correct. Take it. All right. See training day? What? No. Oh, no, no, give this back. Miss, I'm scared of Claire Danes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Paul Rudd. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Paul Rudd. No. Yes. Miss, baby bump. Baby bump. Baby bump. Fat celebrities. Oh. <laughs> Fat celebrities. Jenna Elfman. Oh, oh gosh, sir. Oh. 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 Miss, Daniel Day-Lewis is a genius. Oh, my God. <laughs> Miss, for a dollar, tell me the name of your dentist. Go. Go. Dr. Rowe. Yes, go. Here's your money. Here's your money. Take it. Okay, guys, now it's time for me to answer some of your Twitter questions, questions and comments you've tweeted me on my Twitter account, at Billy Eichner. Here we go. Okay, this tweet comes from Kayla Madlin, at Kayla Madlin. Billy Eichner, how do you feel about the feud between Elton John and Madonna? I feel gayer than usual when I think about it, and when I cry about it, I just get fully erect. Okay, next tweet, Carrots and Lambos writes, at Billy Eichner, what's your favorite thing to yell at someone's face? Well, when I have sex with someone, I like to yell, we're doing this, we're doing this! 